Well, hello, hello. This is the first and only video I'm going to be posting on this channel, because I have to do this for an assignment for my marketing class. So, just sit back and watch me suffer while I'm playing Ultra Kill, because I am very out of practice, and listen to me talk about Reese's marketing plan and how they can possibly improve it. So, Reese's Oh, by the way, I am referring to Reese's as in the producers and makers of Reese's Peanut Butter Cups. Ignore the stuttering, I'm not doing a second take. So, let us observe the marketing plan of Reese's on YouTube. First off, Reese's, you have a decent amount of ads, and the ads are somewhat well made, but one issue with these ads is the fact that they are ads. It looks to be about 60% of your videos on your YouTube channel, and I've only watched three, but it seems to be that 60% of your YouTube videos on your channel are ads. And one thing when you're marketing is that you need to make sure that you are only trying to sell stuff to people about 30% of the time. Now, you are a brand, so you are constantly trying to sell stuff, no matter what you do. Even if you aren't actively pushing a product, you are trying to get people to like your brand so they will buy stuff. So technically, you are constantly trying to sell stuff. But what I mean is, only about 30% or even less of your content should be direct advertisements. The rest should be kind of promotional or non-advertising content. And you have some of these here. One that I would still kind of consider an ad because it shows the Reese's, uh, the Reese's Pumpkin uh, within its packaging is the Reese's Pumpkin Do-It-Yourself Pumpkin Spider Recipe, which just shows how to make a pumpkin spider out of some pretzels, uh, what appear to be marshmallows, and a pumpkin Reese's cup. So this isn't directly trying to sell something to somebody because it is not an advertisement. It's not talking about, oh, go get this in the store. It is simply showing the thing. Uh, and you have some other videos on here, but again, it is about 60% advertisements. Another thing is that about four years ago is where you have most of your videos. You have a lot of them from six and seven years ago, and a few from eight and nine. But for the most part, it's very sparse. You're only releasing about three to four videos per year, and as of late, you only have two videos. Now, this is not good. This is not good. You need to start posting videos more. What I find kind of odd is you are really pushing the Reese's Cups, the Reese's Hashtag sorry not sorry campaign, which on a side note, it is the most infuriating, absolutely annoying, horrible campaign I've ever had. I have, I I know it's not serious, but having your commercials literally talk, having your commercials seem so full of yourself and talk down to your customers, like oh we know you cannot. You cannot live without these Reese's Cups. Oh, look, here's a Reese's Cup. I know your mouth is watering. You want to eat it so bad. That, that is bad. That is talking, that is treating your customers like they are imbeciles, all right? That is not good. Do not do that, please. Stop doing that. I do not know if the hashtag not sorry campaign is still going, but I do know that that is one of your most recent campaigns and YouTube was just inundated with ads of those commercials, which, it leads me to one good thing that you're doing, is that you are pushing advertisements on the YouTube platform, which is a way to get a lot of views of these videos and to possibly get a lot of conversions from these videos, get a lot of people purchasing things because they've seen videos. I'm not sure exactly how much online revenue you're making because Reese's is mostly like, you go to convenience stores or the grocery stores and you can buy the Reese's cup there, but I am certain that there have been people who have bought Reese's Cups, even because of these commercials, even if they are the hashtag not sorry commercials, which infu personally infuriate me to no end. One issue with this campaign, though, is that I know there are more than two commercials in this campaign. But on your channel, 
You only have two hashtag not sorry commercials from three years ago. One is seven seconds, one is 16 seconds. Meant Definitely meant to be YouTube ads. One has 29 million views, one has 865,000 views. You can get so many more views if you just made more of these commercials and kept promoting them. Because you promoted those two, com two commercials a lot. And I know I've seen others, I'm not sure why they aren't here on your channel. But, what you need to do is you start, you need to start posting more of these commercials and um, promoting them to other viewers. One thing that you can also do is to work with influencers, which I, there is one video which is Halloween Trick Out Your Treats, which I don't recognize these people. I don't pay a whole lot of attention to, influ to influencers, but it looks like you might have actually gotten some recognized faces. It could just be random people in their backyard who you hired, right? But it looks like these might be recognizable people. But one thing that you can do is to start working with some faces that people will recognize, get them to promote your product, because if people see somebody they like who likes something that you're selling, they might buy what you're selling. That's just kind of generally how it goes. People are like that. I, uh, there are a couple of YouTubers who have suggested, like, headphone pairs and that kind of thing, and I've bought the headphone pairs because they suggested it and say they are good, and I actually am not disappointed. So that's another thing that you can do to improve your strategy, is to simply use influencers. Uh, possibly include a channel trailer. Let's see if you have one. You do not have a channel trailer. You could add a channel trailer as well. That is just a way to help people looking at your channel get familiar. Now let us go through this list and see. Just, again, vary your content though. Do more than simply ads. Do things that people might actually watch for entertainment. Maybe do some sort of little series or something like that. Uh, for example, Starbucks has created a series called Upstanders, which I don't actually know what it's about, but it's a another series that isn't really even directly supposed to be selling something. So you could try, for example, product reviews, customer tutorial testimonials, interviews, event videos, how-to videos, just Anything, documentaries, even, customer stories, just something that isn't directly trying to sell stuff to people, because if you are directly trying to sell stuff to people all the time, they will get bored and they will feel like that is the only thing you want to do. I, I understand, as a brand, that is the only thing you want to do, <laughs> but you gotta at least pretend that it isn't. You gotta at least pretend that it isn't, and make some videos that might be more entertaining to people than just simply ads, because people aren't gonna go and watch ads on their free time, even if they're funny. Even if they're funny, people will still understand that it's an, an, it is an ad and it is trying to sell them something, and that inherently will take some value away from it. So, if you want to make get even more subscribers and increase those subscribers, you have 173,000 subscribers, and you have 44 videos spread across 11 years. Um, if you want to increase it, make more videos, vary your content, work with influencers, possibly include a channel trailer, um, make shorts, make shorts. YouTube is pushing the shorts. You want to be encompassing every aspect of YouTube. You want to be, you want to be wrapping your hands around it and squeezing it dry to get all that revenue, all right? You want to use shorts, you want to create playlists, playlists of things that aren't just ads, because again, 60% of what you have are ads. I'm just, I keep repeating that because that's just like the biggest problem I'm seeing right here right now. Um, and engage with your community. You don't have any community posts. You've had YouTube around for 11 years, which might even be before community posts was invented, all right? You gotta make some community posts, you gotta talk to people, all right? YouTube is a video sharing platform, but it's not just about videos, all right? You can even, it, and here's the thing, you can make community posts that are advertising new videos coming out, which will 
it's essentially like putting out two videos because people might see the community post and not the video. And so they'll click on the community post to take them to the video. It's just another way to get more people looking at what you are producing. So anyways, that is about all I have to say, Reese's. Um, don't ever do anything like the hashtag not sorry campaign again. Please, do, absolutely do not. I mean, Reese's cups make my mouth sting anyways, so you could probably work on make, doing that. I'm not allergic to them. I'm not allergic to peanuts or anything. It's some other ingredient that you're putting in them that's making my mouth sting. It's, and it's in, like, Hershey's chocolate as well, so I know it's not exactly Reese's, it's just Hershey's in general that kind of has their problems with your chocolate. Don't make my mouth sting, please, alright? Don't burn my mouth with whatever's in it. Again, I'm not allergic. I don't have any symptoms other than, and, and it doesn't, I know I am allergic to some stuff, which actually does make my mouth sting, like watermelon, for example, but it makes it sting in a different way from chocolate and Reese's Cups, so it's something else, definitely. Fix your chocolate, <laughs> all right? Uh, so I, I don't even like Reese's Cups, all right? But I'm helping you here, all right? Because those commercials, I hate you. I hate you, Reese's. I do not like you. Be better, please, for the sake of everybody, including yourself. Anyway, that's all I have to say. And yep, that's it. Uh, might watch me suffer a little bit if this is if this audio ends partway through another round in the cyber grind. But yeah, that's all I have anyways, so uh, goodbye.